Samuel, so talk us through how you kind of felt, you know, from the heat and then now in the semifinals of the 400 here. Uh, the heat was pretty much easy. But the semis, uh-uh. It was hard. I just had to use everything I've got to make sure I'm in that final. And I made it, so I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, this is a big moment where, you know, you really put everything on the line and you worked for it and, you know, you had the opportunity to kind of get here. Like, has that kind of sunk in? Yeah. I've been working towards this. This morning, I got up. I first to God, I was like, God, if you made me, if you made me go through these finals, um, I'll be the happiest man on earth. I don't mind being the last in the finals. I don't care. Well, I made it in the finals. Out of everybody, I'm top eight in the world, so... It's something big for me and for my country. And there haven't been uh, many Nigerians for many, many years in the 400 meter final, even though Nigeria has a deep history. Like, what does it mean to represent Nigeria at the Olympics here? That's why I'm here. God brought me, God brought me to Nigeria for a reason, so I'm there to fulfill the purpose. Yeah. And then talk about kind of your season where you've had a very long season, you know, competing very early all the way down here to, um, you know, we're all the way here in August. How have you been able to maintain your strength and consistency through the year? I just say God because, I don't know, just be running PR and I don't even know. People will be like, you burnt out. So me to go around 45, they'll be like, you burnt out. Like, okay, I kept on trusting in God and doing my thing. So I'm glad I made it this far. And now, when, as we look forward to the final, any expectations? What are you looking forward to for, for them? No expectations, for real. As the finals, anything can happen. We just go and do our best. That's it. There you go. Thanks so much. Thank you.